All right, let's have a look at LXQT some more. We've uh, changed our themes. So the mouse cursor is changed and the icons have been changed, but we did keep our arc theme. Um, what I wanted to cover now is when you go to preferences, LXQT settings, we've uh, clicked on this one last time. And there's one that's a little bit particular. A little bit um, well strange in the sense well everything is just fine everything is set but when you are installing lxqt on articlingsd.com and you have 15 desktops that's the possibility right Control alt e and you have the tweak tool and with this tweak tool you can just install any of our desktops on any of our isos so if you do that, D, and you install everything or, or any ISO, then you'll see that there comes a strange pop-up. It says at some point in time, what uh, window manager would you like? Use a different window manager. While Openbox is the default window manager and we are using window uh, open box because of the fact that open box is so themed and tweaked over the last three years that it's perfect well the way we like it and it has all the same keyboard shortcuts so whatever is already in our fingers the finger memory it works so the um, default window manager can be chosen right you can choose something else and we have of course a file somewhere remember GUIs is just a front end somewhere on your system there is a file and it's going to be written somewhere right and that's what we always have to figure out in new desktops where is it written so open box settings has um it has an open box setting right it has something in here that says okay let's change the windows the the the, the theme okay we can have art box wix beer too let's have a look at all of them so this is definitely part of theming. A lot of things, but just as you see, border-wise. Okay, back to our dark. Appearance, Windows Rain maybe you recognize these things, right? The window icon, that's that guy. L, title, that's that guy. Icon, Iconify. Maximize and close, right? So you see all these things come again uh, available, and that's because well, this is these are the settings for open box. How many desktops we want to have? One, two, three, four. The margins we want to have, and the dock position left, which we don't use. All right, so that's one thing that's related to open box. But it has consequences. The consequence, first of all, is maybe we should have a look as well there. The consequence is that we have an open box folder, right? That we have configurations specifically for um, LXQt. That's one thing. Another consequence is that if you open these guys and you do, for instance, Super 7, we get this. So what am I doing now? Look at your keyboards. You have and you must have a separate keypad for the numbers. So numerical keypad, super nine, five, six, three, two, one, four, seven, eight, nine, six, three, two, one, four, five. Right? So it's possible with an easy keyboard shortcut to tile things. And that's because, of course, we are reusing our code that we have created for, for, for Openbox, right? Everything, it's a long list that we say, let's reuse this, right? Even our D menu is in here, Super Shift D. Let's launch Firefox, okay? So all these things have been reused. All the work is not in vain, is not lost. We can reuse the code of Openbox. That's one thing. Another thing I would like to, in the same context here, is 
last session somewhere. Is it hidden here? Session settings, right? So that's another way to set our Alex Qt. I don't have a choice here, but when I would install Plasma with our Article Linux Tweak tool, I would have the choice Kwin, right? Another window manager. So you can change things around. We do not, uh, because it will only make things more complex for the users. But on Article Linux D, if you install our 15 desktops, you'll have a drop down like whew, till here, right? All choices. I've never experienced, experimented with it because, well, you want to have this as backend, but it's possible, right? Default applications, you can change things in here. I did try to keep applications that are specifically for uh, Qtile, but not always, right? Not always. So this drop down is a very easy and convenient thing, and it's XFC4 terminal. But the control T is gonna be a Q terminal. So it's gonna look a little bit different. It's not transparent because we're in virtual box, but it is looking rather different, probably maybe because we have 12, maybe, I don't know, rather than 11. Firefox, I can change this if I want to, I guess, right? Web browser, user directories. Do we need to change them? Maybe, well, it's possible all the auto start stuff that we have and do not want maybe environment advanced no nothing changed here so this is another piece of technology application to set your theming and settings okay since next login fine and um that's um, what I wanted to say about it, right? So it's, I think we've covered everything for teaming at this point in time. And if I still discover one, I'll add it to the article. But appearance, well, the rest is, I think, very straightforward. I'm not going to make videos about keyboards and mouse. Maybe that's still, still also a possibility for uh, how to set the cursor, right? If you want to go back to the Bati Classic then it's also possible to set it here, but we set it here. I think, where did we set that thing? Widget style, was it here? We set it somewhere anyway. Here's the cursor. Let's go back to Ember. So there are two ways to set it, right? And well, okay. So as long as we know, we know, and we can set our keyboards and our layouts and all that. So that's um, all possible, the touchpad, which I probably have I mean natural scrolling and all that that will probably work on, my, on what I mean um, but I am on a desktop right so no testing for me here and these are the possibilities in VirtualBox all right okay um, I think I am gonna stop the video right here